Alrighty then, what is going on guys, and welcome to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. The very, 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 very first Assassin's Creed that the game franchise, which I think is like the longest game franchise that I've ever done so far, that I've ever played. What about self, your host, Nobby? That was a really long introduction there. <laughs> okay, last time we left off, we um, did like two games on my channel. We completed both of Sniper Elite V2 and Octodad. And now, it is that moment once again, like I didn't even repeat that like a hundred times by now. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, every single time I start a game, I sound like this. Last time we left off, we did like two games, and now we're gonna have to choose like two more games, and blah 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 blah. It's like I sound like a fucking broken record. And I even attempted this introduction like, like ten fucking times by now, and I'm doing the same, f and I'm saying the same things all over again, so I'm, go I'm probably gonna leave this in the recording, so... <laughs> Uh, moving that rant aside, this is going to be a really, really long journey. I have been planning on doing uh, uh, the whole uh, Assassin's Creed franchise, and I'm going to start with this one, the very first, and then I'm going to move on to Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, uh, Liberations, uh, 3, 4, Japan, Germans, uh, World War 2, and all that. On all that, I'm going to do like every single uh, Assassin's Creed, because I really enjoy this Assassin's Creed. I uh, ever since I uh, played this particular game in like 2008, I really got hooked up. So I'm gonna recommend you to, to I mean, not recommend. I, will, I want to make sure that you are gonna enjoy this a lot. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and express your opinions about the game, about everything that you see on my uh, on my videos, about every single funny stuff that I do it. And uh, the usual comments that I get usual from you guys, because I really love you, and I want to make sure that this series is going to be, like, one of my favorite, that is going to be one of my very, very popular series on this channel. And I, I'm going to try my best, I'm going to try my best, so, moving that aside, without further ado, let's start this, oh boy, Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna tell you this, this, uh, uh, the beginning part of this is gonna be a little bit, um, uh, it is gonna be a little bit long, it is gonna have lots of dialogues and all that, so, I'm not gonna talk that much, all the time, so, let's see. Oh god, Assassin's Creed. Uh Joy. What the fuck? I applied my heart to no wisdom. And to no madness and folly. I perceive that this also was a chasing after wind. What is this, the witness protection wisdom program? Is but grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Lots of talk about philosophy, world, wisdom, and power, it seems. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm gonna get sick right now. I need you to try and relax. How can I even relax in such thing? This is, this is, oh my lord! Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Your voice is beautiful, by the way. It can't hurt you. Ah! Oh fuck off, you little fucking bullshit guy! Ow! Give it a moment, Mr. Stillman. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. I'm becoming a madman here. I'm not adjusting. I'm adjusting to madness right now. We need to pull him out. Ah. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. Okay, that is enough mad madness for you right now. Like for like today. Let's pull you out. You okay? I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? Not a North, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Not a North. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? <laughs> we know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. You do. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, 
You've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not Pervert this stuff? Not anymore. Yes, you're Wait, not anymore? Wait, as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. Was Desmond actually an assassin before? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Wait, before we go, I... Oh, god dang it. I... I swear, I've... I... I remember putting, like, the subtitles at one point. Now it doesn't show them, apparently. That really sucks. Oh, no. I guess I'm gonna shut up for right now. You'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Okay. I guess I have, like, no choice. Let's do this. A wise decision. I had like no choice. Is this actually inverted? Oh, there you go. Yeah, now it's all oh. good. Where am I? You're inside Whoa. the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I sure? Why not? The human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well. Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. <laughs> nah, now it's more than that. You're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it. The fact remains, these creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Well, that explains it. That is a good motive to do the whole game. Otherwise, it would be a really, really short game if, uh, if I did that last level. It would be really short. Like not even ten parts or so. Data stream unstable. Oh my god. Attempting to restore synchronization. GLaDOS, is that you? Hello, Subject 17. Hello. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. Look at me. The synchronization oh. bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync. The Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. So it's like your health bar. If you, the animus if you don't any more health, you die. Game over. To control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. First person you action. Begin by exploring the default actions of each input. I wanna punch someone. I wanna but I wanna punch someone. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. 
Why don't they have faces? I mean, it is really, really creepy when I see them. Oh my god, okay. So press E for your first person action. Jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna proceed on my own. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, boys. Get out of the way. Oh my god, I destroyed like 50 paws there. No more water for you, sirs. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to listen to GLaDOS here. I'm gonna have to use the shifty shifty Cocoa Puff. That doesn't even make sense, okay. Shifty. Lots of shifties. Move out of the way. You're ca you're carrying like the whole fucking river within your heads. My lord. Well done. Well done. Satisfying voice. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Okay. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. All right. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Okay. So basically what she's saying is uh, low prof the low profile means stealth and high profile means uh, all actiony actiony stuff. Okay, so all the the left. Okay, then grab and then throw you away. Good. Fly little baby. Well not baby. <laughs> Fly big man. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Before this faceless man t slash Templar. Okay. Templar slender man, I guess. Okay. Well done. Pretty good. The animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. Okay. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. Alright. Here's my hidden selected, blade. Walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Assassination! Assassinate the faceless man! I don't know, it kinda reminds me of one of those episodes from Scooby-Doo, I don't know. There was this monster that has like, that had like no face. Right, then. Where are you? It was all, all purple or stuff, and stuff. Ah, good times. But nonetheless, we are praying Assassin's Creed here, so... Okay. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions, or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time, will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. My lord. Tutorialception here. I could just... Uh, wait, so, uh, can I actually skip those? I don't know, I mean... I would expect that you know how Assassin's Creed works and all that, and you don't actually need me to... Uh, you don't really want to see me do those tutorials, so... Is there like a way to deactivate this? I... Oh! Oh, I... The social oh. status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Okay. I guess I won't fight you today. <clears throat> Let's do this. Run, 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 and climb, climb, climb the ladders. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Alright. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. Hmm, where could he be? He couldn't be in this one single 
fucking hiding spot that is on top of this roof. No, no, no. The soldier has lost your he couldn't be inside there. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Yes, let's exit the only hiding spot on this fucking rooftop. Excellent. There you go.